Hello my darlings and welcome back to Henford on Bagley. We are back in the Bramblewood area today, back at Haddon Hall. Last time we finished off the exterior to the manor house itself. Today we're going to be cracking on with the kitchen area, the pantry and also the interior to the stables. So let's get in and make a start. Happy Wednesday my loves and welcome back once again let's build the world that was very that was a bit sexual wasn't it, to be honest hello there we are Haddon Hall let's crack on <laughs> no. last time as I said what we did let's get some light here shall we oh look at that oh I do love the lighting in Henford on Bagley look at that lovely big cloud in the background <laughs> anyway I finished off the exterior last time uh, there's still a few things I might add in as the build progresses. One of you said, why don't we try and get access up to this area here? And I kind of want to do that. And I think what I'm going to try and do once we get up to this area is find somewhere where I could do a small little corridor. Maybe put a staircase in or even a ladder. I don't really want to go from the exterior with a ladder up. I'd rather it be from the interior. So we might do like another little bit of a build or a bit of a bump up here with a roof line. And have a little bit of access out onto this area here. I just think that could be fun. Um, but yeah, other than that, what we're going to be cracking on with today is this area here. So kitchen, the pantry itself. I'm going to do this toilet here as well. And probably this area here where I'm going to make use of the kind of dog food bowls and stuff I'm going to put around here. And I was also debating on actually getting a fireplace into this kitchen somewhere. So we're going to try and do that too. But we need to remember there's like three doors in here. So it's going to take up a bit of room. But maybe even in this corner here. Because there is a kind of chimney breast near here. Near here. Um, so maybe we might do that. Maybe we might do that. And then we're going to detail up the actual stable interior as well. I don't really want loads in here. I'm going to do their food. Like troughs and water troughs and stuff. And we're also going to do the small little stable office really. Very bare, minimal, no bookcases or anything. I'm not going to do that kind of thing. Um, but I do want to detail that up a little bit. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, and I'm very excited for it. Yes, I am indeed. We're into the interiors now. And then tomorrow I'm going to come back. We're going to do the main living room together. And also the big entrance hall. Including the landing at the top as well. So we're just going to get that, all of that built tomorrow. Um, so this will crack on rather deliciously. So... Let's make a start, shall we? I don't know what kitchen to use just yet. I really, really don't. I've not even thought about it. So I'm going to have a little whiffle through and see which kitchen I think meets the mark. Now, it's a toss-up between these two kitchens, which are both base game. I like the swatches on these. They're very similar. But I don't really know what style I prefer in here. I think this one here kind of fits the gothic sort of vibe a little bit better than this one. I do love this one here because it's got the tile at the top rather than the marble. Um, and I don't know if marble would work well in here. Uh, I wish that this had tiles on it because I would have used that straight away. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one. I am. I'm going to do it. We're going to use the marble topped one and we're going to crack on. Now, this is a very weird shape going along here, but I think it will suffice for a kishion. I'm going to plop you to there to start off with because I think an oven would go good there. And then I'm going to whiffle you all the way along. It's going to be quite a big kitchen. I don't think I'm going to wrap it around in a kind of U shape and come over this way. I just think I need to fill up this area here with the cabinets themselves. Lots of corner pieces are going to be going on here. That would be a great sink area there. Uh, so let's grab some corner pieces with this kitchen. It's very expensive, this kitchen. But you can obviously see that this, cap this family are minted. So they're not running out of funds anytime soon, you know. So here we go. Uh, hello, how are you? I hope you all had a marvellous weekend. Thank you for all of your lovely comments on yesterday's video. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, I don't like that. That's very, very zigzaggy. I think we need to end it there. I think even getting rid of that corner piece and just going for a bit like that. Let me see that. Yeah, that's better. That was a bit too much going around there. It really, really was. I don't know whether to add a fridge into this room or put the fridge in the pantry. We'll see what happens with that as well. Um, but yeah, stunning. I do like this kitchen in here, actually. I hate the lip at the back. I really wish they would stop doing that with kitchens. Can I put it into the wall and will it still work? That's the question. Should we try it? I know I'm going to have to manually, 
move to move everything. But I just think it would work better with this particular kitchen. You see how much better that looks? Yes, we're doing it. Um, which means I'm going to have to do all of the cabinets. So I'll be right back. We're just going to have to do it like that. Because I tried to like maneuver this area here. And the more I was putting this in here, the more it was like kind of splitting this up. And I don't want that vibe. So we're just going to have to deal with that lip. We're very brave for doing that. Very brave indeed. I would like to flop up. Flop up a boob, to be honest. Now, a lovely little sink like that. Do we want to go for that color? I think we do. And I wish we had a bigger oven. I really wish we had a lovely double oven like all of the CC ones. And I don't like putting two next to each other because it just looks like shit. But maybe I could do that. <laughs> I don't like doing that. I don't like to do that. But maybe we should do that. You know, maybe something. I want something to look like it's a proper gas oven. You know, maybe if we even use like these and pretend it's an Arga, we could do that as well. It's got a six ring piece then, not a ring piece. <laughs> six ring, Aiden. Not, not a ring piece. Actually, that doesn't look too bad in that one. I'm kind of for it. I don't really like the back bit, but we're just going to have to deal with that. We really are. Yeah, I think that should suffice. So, ovens, sink. I almost really think we need to put a fridge in here. So, I think I'm going to add a fridge in. And maybe I could put one in the pantry as well. We'll just see what happens. Um, so, do we use these fridges in here? Or should we go for a little bit more of an old school looking one? I kind of like this. Let me see. No. <laughs> oh, honestly, what is it with recording and hiccuping lately? I keep flopping out hiccups every now and again. Maybe this one here. Oh, I do like this one in here. Yeah. And I think what I'm going to do is flop it into that position. And now, no, I was going to. Oh, actually, <laughs> I think I'm going to put the fridge here instead. Let me see this. What would that look like? No, I don't like that. We'll put that back and we'll flop the fridge in this orientation like this. And then I could put a bin next to it as well then, couldn't I? Let's flop a little bin right next to it. And it's going to be the bin of dreams, of course. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. We definitely, we definitely need some cabinets. And I'm thinking I want to finish this end off here as well. So I am going to put in a little corner piece like that. Just off to the end. And we could put an island in here as well. I think I will. I put a nice island around here. Um, maybe with some bar stools. We'll see what happens. But we need some cupboards. And I think we'll just add the cupboards all the way down this way. So we are on a medium height. So I want it to be at a decent height. That's okay. Maybe a little bit too high. Let me see this. Yeah, they are a little bit too high. Let's bring them down. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one there like this. And I'm going to do this one in the corner piece and then I'm going to flip it over to this side like that. Oh, she looks marvellous there. Yeah, and then I could do two smaller ones. Is that too wide? That looks too wide to me. It might not be, but to me at the minute it does. No, it's fine. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Oh, stunning. And we do need to get in a little bit of a extractor moment up here, don't we? Can I size this up without it looking weird? No. I could probably size it up with the tool mod without it looking weird. So maybe if we go for like a 1.5. Um, let's see what we get from that. Is that the same size? No, it's not. Actually, that's not too bad. <gasps> it almost makes me want to get rid of these. And just have that as the moment in the middle there. Oh, I like that. I've never done it with that. With the size not up with the tool mod. I, I like it. I think that's the ticket. Yes, it bloody is, I tell you. Very much so. I'm almost wondering whether to change the shape of the cabinets over here and go for the bigger one, like the big boy. Because we could bring it down to this level. Or even just put that on the end there and get rid of that end piece. Let me see that. Oh, yes. And then still keep that one like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's done something to me. That's tickled me tuppence, that as my loves. Yeah, I think we're going to get... We're going we're gonna to do that. We are. And I am, as I said, going to be putting an island in here. So, matching island, if you will. Is that the correct one? It is. I don't know how big I want this. I think what I should do is do one piece each side and then do corner pieces. And I could probably drag this out a little bit more this side like that. 
And then we're going to go in and fail to put these in the correct positions. But we're going to give it our best shot. Oh, I did it first time. I'm so clever. I really am. Oh, dear. Right. And then you can come here. Oh, I like that. That light's in the perfect um, position as well, which is nice. Yes. Some bar stools here. I have got the bar stools in my head and it's these ones. Um, this house is going to be very brown. Lots of panelling everywhere. But we are going to play around with a little bit more colour and stuff in towards their bedrooms. Just to give them some personality. And maybe even the living room. Get some brighter like sort of um, sofas and stuff. I think that could work. Yeah, I do like it. But it's making me wonder if I could spin that around and do a six piece there. Just for a bit of drama. Yeah, but it's very high, isn't it? I think that'll be okay. Yeah, I think it'd be fine. That's a nice start to the kitchen. I think it's a very nice start to the kitchen. And I'm almost wondering whether to get rid of this now and put in another one of these here. Just so it kind of like marries it in over on that side too. Let me see this. Does that look weird? I mean, it kind of does. Only because it's kind of tucking itself into the wall. And I don't like that. Oh, you know what? I'm for that. A little bit more cabinetry. Now, as I said as well, we did say we were going to add a fireplace in here. And I'm thinking, not like a opulent looking fireplace, something like this, a little bit more classic. And maybe I could pop that in the corner. And that swatch is good enough as well. I'm a bit worried about that chair that is going to stop burning. Maybe I could drag this over here just a little bit more. If I can bring you there, just to be safe. And then I can drag that across as well. So it's directly above the island. Yeah, that's going to work for me. That's a nice little area around there as well. Stunning. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to get rid of the double doors into the kitchen. Just go for the single one. Um, I don't think the kitchen needs a double door moment. Um, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's a lot better. Lovely. Okay, well, I'm going to pull out a variety of gorgeous details and even some more appliances and stuff and pop it around the kitchen. And so here we are, just a few details. I also did this little, like, moment over by the window there. I just needed a bit of drama on that end, and I think that looks quite nice, actually. I used the horse ranch pillars and also those corbels that came with... cats and dogs and i just think that adds a little bit of drama like that we've done a kettle we've done a chicken with eggs in we have done i've oh that's that's um not in the right position now um i've done some tea towels hanging up on there done some spice we did a bit of ale we've done some trinkety bits this was the only place i could really put the dishwasher now i know it's not realistic because it's right next to the arga um but we're going to be putting it there anyway and what else did i do did i say tea set i think i did a little cake I've done some produce around here. I've put some firewood and fire pokers over by the fire area. We've hung up some wall lanterns. And I didn't want this place to look too fancy. I want it to look like a working kitchen. And um, so that's what I came up with. And do you know what? I'm quite for it. I think what I should do, however, is add up a picture just above the fireplace. Nothing too fancy. Maybe one of these, actually. I think this could suffice in here. Maybe these are the old servants when the house was um, back in its heyday, you know? And these are the pictures of the house servants. I'm very much for that idea. Really am. I think what I should also do is I want to put radiators throughout this whole build. So I think I should add in one into the kitchen area. And I think we'll go for a kind of oldie looking one that's kind of a bit battered. And hopefully... I could squeeze it into here. I mean, this radio would not heat this this size room substantially. But we're going to be putting it there anyway. Yes, we are indeed. But yeah, I'm kind of for that. I think that is going to suffice it as the manor kitchen. I like the fact that it looks like a working kitchen, not very much a posh sort of kitchen. And I'm still not keen on the marble tops. Um, so you never know. This might change for the other kitchen. But we're going to leave it like that for now. I think it works well in there lovely so we're going to be moving on to the pantry now i've decided to make this a little bit more of a, a little bit of a utility room as well so we're going to go for a pantry with some shelves i'm probably going to go into debug and get out loads of food looking items and put them up on the shelves and stuff in here 
but I would also, as I said, like to make this into a little bit of a utility room. So I am going to be putting in a washer and dryer. And I would also love to add in a water heater. I think I'm going to do that in the basement somewhere. Add in a water heater down here. So let's put it down here so we can come back to that. Uh, maybe even the electric, like the fuse box as well. I think that could like work well at this house. We need to go very realistic or as realistic as we can possibly make it. And I'm thinking about using the vampire uh, radiators instead. I don't know. Maybe we could use these in the fancier area. So I'll just keep one out there. Um, yeah, I'm getting distracted. We're going to be putting in a washer and a dryer. Do we go for a black one? No, I think we'll go for a white one. Let's go for this one here. And then you, my darling, are going to be coming to here as well. I could stack them on top of each other. In fact, I'll probably do that. Let's do that. Stack them on top and then bring them right to the door. Maybe. No, in fact, I'm going to put it down this way because... It would give us more room to put some shelves and stuff up, up around on this corner of the room. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we bloody are. And I do want to get in some kind of like kitchen side and counter space as well. I'm going to change the door orientation to that way. So it kind of opens there. Lovely. And we're going to go for maybe I'll try that kitchen that we were going to use in here. Because it's got that tiled top, isn't it? So maybe if I use that one. Ta-da! I changed the kitchen. I do like it. I do prefer this one. I think it works a lot better. The other one was just a little bit too... I don't know. The marble was just not giving me the vibes that I wanted for in here. And again, building organically. Things can change as you progress through the build. And I love that. I really do. So I am going to be putting some more cabinets in here as well. Just in case for like cleaning products and stuff. I think would be the best way to do it. We're going to be flopping them all the way along to there. It's almost making me want to get rid of this corner piece and maybe add the washer and dryer into here. Oh, I do like that, but we're, we are going to have to lift these up. Oh, I don't want them to go up that far, though. Let's just lift them up like this. Put them side by side. Are you a little bit lower? You are. I caught you before you made a fool of me. Doesn't seem to want to go to that height for some reason. And I'm going to say it's because it's a bitch. There we are. Yeah, I prefer it like that. That's nice, because then we've got enough room here to be able to put in a cheeky laundry basket. So let me just get the grid space on here. If I can go to, like, there, that door should still be able to open absolutely fine. And they should be able to get to that washing machine. I will play a test it, of course. Of course I will. I'm going to do one of these rugs. In fact, I oh, probably want a little bit of a longer rug here. Yeah, we'll go, for, we'll go for one of these base game ones. I think I'm going to change the colour. If it matches in with here a little bit better. Lovely. And then here, I would love... I wish we had some more farmhouse looking sinks. But we don't. Oh, do you know what? That doesn't look tragic. <laughs> that doesn't look absolutely tragic. I could add this one in. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, a little bit more of a farmhouse-esque looking sink and we I want to find some shelving bits now and I'm going to pull out lots of stuff that looks like food stuffs and we'll fill up the pantry shelves I think the book nook kit um shelving modular shelving even though it's like I don't know if it's glitched or something at the minute but it's so difficult to use I think this would look great as the pantry shelves let me just I'm finding it really difficult to place being an absolute bell end. What about if I um, pop you over to here? I'm going to slap you across the face and call you a whore in a minute. I just want you to go there. Oh, there we go. Honestly. Honestly. Let's, let's, let me see how No, we need it higher. At least the height of the door that we've got going on. So let me pull you to there. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that works. I like that. That's a very good shelving piece for a bit of a pantry. Yes. <sighs> Foodstuffs. I've pulled out a few bits. Now I just know I can just tell how tedious this is going to be. So I'm going to do a little bit with you now, but also a little bit off of camera because I have a feeling this may make me want to slap. You've guessed it, a fish. I'm going to put this in. I don't know what this would be. Maybe some kind of udder milk. <laughs> no. 
Not other milk, Aiden. Uh, maybe there's some kind of syrup or something. Uh, soups, broth. Broth out in um, room temperature. That would be marvellous. Maybe some kind of essence. <laughs> I... I like the word essence, but I always think of disgusting things, you know, when someone's got a certain aroma, they've got an essence of the essence of just, just don't, just please shush. We're moving on before things just get weird, weirder, shall we say. There's pops, lots of dry ingredients I think would work well in here. And the weird thing with these shelves is that everything seems to snap to the bottom point when I don't want it to do that. I find that very irritating, actually. Um, besides you, Dan, can I change the swatches? Oh, yeah, we can. Look, lovely. We can go for some... <laughs> Are you all right? There we go. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> they were like, hello, we're here. Bit of tea there, a plain one. Let's have some coffee and that one there. Marvellous. Yes. Now, I've bought out these from Debug. They are from the Home Chef Hustle. They do look like slabs of meat, but I'm still going to use them anyway. Maybe they are freeze-dried ingredients for cakes or something. They have got lids, but they're off at the minute because Reginald is baking a cake. Yes, he is indeed. Um, we're going to get some of these bread items in here as well. Yeah, I think that would work. Uh, we can put up you up there. Gorgeous. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a little thing of um, fruit. I have put this cake in here. I'm going to pretend it's cheese. I looked. Did I look for cheese? What is that? A cheese dipper? I don't want a cheese dipper. Thank you. Well, actually, I would love a cheese dipper. But um, not right now. I'm recording. This one is going to be maybe from the farm shop. Lots of like veg and stuff in there. Love that idea. And I thought having like kombucha and stuff here would really work nicely. But these snap to the snap points and they only go, oh, at, oh, it's down below. I can deal with that. That's fine. Oh, yes, some of that. Actually, this wasn't tedious as what I thought it would be. And it does look very pantry-ish. That is the word for today. Pantry-ish. <laughs> can we, can you go to that side? There we go. No, you were there. There we are. Some kombucha, some herbal kombucha. Um, do I want to put these tins up here? Do you know what? I think I will. Let's just see how many we can get on there. Three. Oh, how lucky are we? What's that? What's creeping through there? Oh, it's me dish. Maybe I could flop that somewhere as well then. Maybe I'll put that next to the cake. Can I move the cake along? Oh, I can. Che sorry, cheese. Cheese. Chez. Can I flop you? Oh, you're, you're such an arsehole. There we go. Oh, actually, do you know what? That's fine. I think that's just enough, to be honest. They're not going to be able to use it anyway, but it just gives a feeling of a pantry in here. Yes, I like that. I very much do. I'm very much into that. Yes, indeed. I do, however, feel like we need some kind of detail in here. Maybe with some brooms up on this level. A few little laundry pieces out here. So let me grab the final little bits and bobs. Laundry day came in very handy. So a few little trinkety bits there. I've put an ironing ironing board and stuff in here as well. I just think that's going to work out quite nicely. It almost makes me want to add a washing line. I think I'm going to add a washing line to somewhere in the grounds where it wouldn't look too strange. Um, I don't think having it in the walled garden would look great. I don't think anywhere else over here would look great either. Nor the front. But what we could do is maybe add it out. <laughs> no, I can't do that. I was going to add it out here. I am going to add some horse exercise equipment. One of you um, lovelies said, why don't you add that to it? Uh, like a bit of a horse exercise equipment area. And I do like the vibe of that, to be honest. Should we add it to the ward garden? I think that's going to be the only area it would work okay in. I mean, it's not the perfect moment. But I think I'm going to add it here. Unless I'd like put it out here somewhere. But that's not a good view, is it? No, we'll keep it for the staff quarters. Actually, could I add it down? No, we'll just keep it there, Aiden. For goodness sake. So this is going to be a bit of a toilet area and also a little bit of an area for the dogs. So I need to bring all of that kind of good stuff out. 
So I've put the details in. I've done a little chair here because this is kind of like a boot room area or an area where they bring the dogs through, I would imagine, um, with the dog leads here. Wondering if I could put that up a little bit higher. Yeah, we'll put that up to there. Little toy box for the dogs. Two automatic feeders for them. I've bought some towels by the door as well so they can dry them off after a wet walk in the English countryside. Um, and weirdly, I can't get rid of this square. It's very annoying because of the basement. It doesn't allow me to get rid of it. I've tried multiple, multiple ways and I just know it won't work. Um, but what we're going to do is do the bathroom together. So I would imagine this would be the room where the dogs would get bathed for a start. Wondering if I could use just a bit more of a lower level bath. This one would be perfect. Please go. Oh, there we go. <gasps> That's the ticket right there. So this is the dog bath. The dog bath and the staff toilet. <laughs> I mean, I would share a bathroom with the dog. I'd rather share a bathroom with a dog more than most humans, to be honest with you. Um, so there we go. That's all that needs to be said. So maybe I could add a little bit more of a, an older looking toilet in here. Maybe something like this. Yes. I just wish this came in some better swatches. I really hate the swatches with this one. Um, I could probably do the sink there and pop the toilet into the corner of the room like that. Yes, and then I could use that matching sink that came with Get Together and flop you just there like that, my darling. Obviously going to be putting a mirror into this room as well. Now, I don't imagine the staff come and have a little shower or anything in here, but I am going to do a little mirror there. Um, we're probably going to need to add some more towels in as well because the doggos. I hate saying doggo, and I just said it. What about if I flopped these up? try to look for a swatch that wasn't too dramatic um uh no <laughs> well it doesn't really matter i'm gonna go for that one there dog towels beautiful job maybe get some kind of oh let's get a plunger in here as well look at the bloody swatches on this for goodness sake just just something normal for once in your life sims team i would love that thank you not never gonna happen never ever gonna happen but just putting those feelers out there yeah something like that and then maybe i could use that semicircle rug down here for when the dogs get out beautiful and i did also want to get some kind of shampoo in here in fact i'm going to use this one pretend that this one's like doggy shampoo can i pop you up on the side there oh i can look oh she's stunning just a very simple toilet i think that's all i'm gonna do in there yes at least they can use that, you know. So, as I said, we're going to move on and we're going to do the stable now. I'm going to pull out absolutely everything I think we'll need, we'll need in here. And we will pop it around together. So here we are, a plethora of beautiful things. Let's start off with the horses. They're the most important. So let's pop in their feeding areas. And also a little water trough. I'm going to flop this one over onto this side. Push you in as far as we can. Lovely. And then we'll get this one. No, we won't. We'll get this one. No, we won't. We'll get this one. And flop it into that corner there. Thank you. Great. I've also extended the sizes of the actual pens themselves. And shortened and made the office a little bit smaller. Um, I just thought that office was too big. It was far too big for what I wanted. Uh, storage. Storage is very important. So big old tack boxes full of all of your bits and bobs, all of your grooming equipment, maybe food as well. We could store food in there too. Gorgeous idea. And I'm also going to bring in a smaller one and just slip it in the side there. Ooh. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is bring in these saddle um, seats. I forget what these are called. I always forget the real name for these. Um, it's been many years since I knew the name of these, but I'm going to keep them both there like that, right in the centre. So they can work on their saddles and their bridal equipment. Um, we're going to put all the cleaning equipment up here, I think. Let's bring you to around there. And I'm going to bring out the mucking out bits and bobs. Maybe one there. And I'm going to do one down on this side as well. Just so they're not walking all the way down to use each of them, you know. I like that. I do. And I've brought out lots of awards here. And I'm going to fill the space up just with a small little, oh, like, unused well. 
Uh, it looks like the ring, doesn't it? She's going to crawl out of that. But I thought having that in the middle of this courtyard would probably be a bit more realistic. I've brought out some prairie grass as well. I'm thinking about putting some prairie grass with the tall mod out here. But we'll do that at a later date. I'll just put it there for the meantime. So office, very simply. As I said, I don't want to fill the office up with a lot of stuff. I also forgot to mention, I put in some more windows into the stable areas themselves. Because there was a couple of you that said, actually, having ventilation into their actual pen areas would probably be the best way. So thank you very much. I'm always here to learn. Uh, I'm going to do a small little kitchenette. Not with anything massive in here. I just think like a sink and a kettle and stuff would be nice. They could have a little drink if they're working on bits and bobs. I do need some kind of shelving unit to put the wards on. But I don't know where I want to do that just yet. So for now, I'm just going to keep it like it is. I'm going to flop you into the corner there. Just in case you want a little sit down with your cup of tea. Ah, very much vibing with that. And I think what we need to do is get into the dining room. And get a chair like an old rickety looking chair like you yes yes i'm not gonna put anything out on the side here um laptop wise or anything like that i don't think it oh do you know what actually i think i will i'm gonna put a laptop here uh, and then they can take it around wherever they may wish then they're very rich so they're gonna go for the best of the best aren't they uh let's get in a lovely lamp i think oh actually i'm gonna go for something like this in here just to bring a little oh i don't like that can we have it in this orientation thank you that's better. In fact, I'm going to pop you up. No, I'm going to keep you there. <laughs> I was going to pop it on the other side, but I thought, no. No, I don't want to do that. And I also want to get a little sink here. Just something very cheap looking. Let's go for this one because it's a bit more older. We do have that gold tap, don't we? Lovely. In fact, I'm going to... No, I'm going to keep you there. And then I'm going to use the cheaper kettle. And pop the kettle here as well. Because they can have a cup of tea in their office. Ah! Oh! Vibing. And as I said, I want to get in some kind of shelving unit, maybe across here. I could even pull that door in a little bit there to put up some of the horsier walls. I'm just going to use that cabinet. I think that works quite nicely in here. I'm going to pull it in a little bit tighter to the wall, though. I did have to lift one of those awards up with a 9K, but I think it works. A little bit lower, but we can just pretend that the horse was shorter when they, <laughs> when they won that award. Not that, but that. Um, I think that's going to suffice. I think that's a nice little finished off stable now. Lovely, nice working stable. Yes, indeed. So we got quite a nice little bit done today, I think. Chucked in a few more details. As I said, tomorrow we're going to come back. We're going to do the living area and also the main hall and entrance. That's what we're going to be getting cracking on with tomorrow. But um, that's it for today, my darlings. Leave me some lovely comments down below, please. And I will be back tomorrow with the next part. Goodbye.